What's going on guys? I've got here a 2013 F-150 and I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the different fuses for the operation of the radio as well as the controls for the radio here on the steering wheel. So all of those fuses can be found in the body control module which is here on the passenger side floorboard. And your Ford may or may not use all of these fuses that I'm gonna show you. It just depends on your level of trim and your radio options. So we're gonna pull this cover out like here set it aside and then we remove this cover by squeezing it and pulling straight back. Now the first fuse I'm going to show you is a 15 amp fuse. It's all the way up here on the left hand side in position number two. So fuse number two here provides power if you have the sync system. So if you've got sync two it receives power from that 15 amp fuse. Moving down, we've got fuse number nine, which is this 10 amp fuse right here. This provides power to a number of things, including the GPS module, as well as the front control interface module, uh, or the display. Beyond that, let's see here. We've got fuse 19, which is gonna be this 20 amp fuse right here up at the top in the middle column. Fuse 19 is responsible for providing power to the digital signal processor. So uh, you may refer to that as the amplifier. Now moving on down, we've got a 15 amp fuse located in this position. That is fuse number 23. Power from this fuse goes to the steering wheel control module so that's the control module that receives an input from all of the different buttons on the steering wheel, like the volume button, the phone button, all that good stuff. Moving on down here at the very bottom is fuse 29. This 20 amp fuse provides power to the audio control module, or what you may refer to as the head unit. We've also got fuse 38, which is this 10 amp fuse here. On certain models, this will provide power to the radio from the accessory delay relay, which is this relay right here. So the purpose of this fuse is to send a signal to the head unit to let the head unit know if you have the key in the on or accessory position, and also to allow the radio to stay on for some time after you turn the truck off, but before you open the doors. So yeah, I hope that this information has been helpful for you in troubleshooting the radio on your F-150. Please do let me know if you have any questions or also if you have any advice about the radio. And thanks for watching.